All right. Uh, this was the homework assignment to two uh, due was yesterday, which means uh, I do not have time to grade this at all. Um, but let me uh, review some of those. Uh, anyway, therefore, I, I need to have two more classes uh, to make our uh, query expression uh, more uh, meaningful and dynamically. So number one here, uh, not much. Number two, I don't think it's much. Uh, we already did that. Uh, question number three, uh, query uh, from the students. We already, we have the, uh, the, the table students, so no issue. Uh, okay, probably uh, question number six, department and the faculty. So department has a name and chair, faculty has uh, rank, uh, name, rank, degree. Uh, so, so we'll have a department and, and faculty. Uh, all right. So with that uh, much, I will go back to, uh, first of all, create I am going to open up two terminals. One, I want to contain bigger output. And the other one, I want to make this a uh, little bigger so that you can see my fonts in better way. Ah, oh, they're almost back here. OK. So the way, before I try to Sorry. log in, hi, um, Jamal, yeah. I wanted to uh, start up. Start up my uh, my SQL. Start to my SQL. It is <coughs> started. Therefore, I can log in. Usually, it is in uh, USR local my SQL bin my SQL. Minus let's go to root first. Root and pip for password. Use let's see show tables. Show databases. So I am going to use Mercy University. Show tables. I have that. If I remember, no. I think I. Um, Another the credential that I created it was a JUN2, right? If I remember correctly. Let me see. Then I need to do grant all privileges on star da star on everything to JUN2. Query OK, zero affected. Probably it is, it is okay. <coughs> to make sure if I have any such, then 
showed I think um, use uh, MySQL show I think uh, describe user users or user user and there is a I want to see the privileges that I have Okay, host to user, here is a user. Um, grant privilege, grant priv. Lots of privileges here. So, so we'll see. So, select a star from user where user is jun2. See what I have. I think almost all are yes, right? I think that's what I have. Some of the privileges, select the privileges. Those are the privileges. So I have all at all wise. So I'm okay. <clears throat> so make sure that, and then I will quit, and I'll come back to Jun two. And my password is JUN2 also. Good. So I'm going to use Mercy University and they show tables. I have <coughs> uh, uh, three tables, three base tables, and one view, right? So Description, cyber student, for example, that is the view. Uh, this guy that uh, didn't show if that is a view or, or not. But anyway, this is the view that we decide. But we, if we, <coughs> yeah, okay. With this much, and uh, back to your homework assignments, uh, we need to create department and the faculty, right? Department and faculty. So, but in your case, probably you, didn't, you don't need to do alter. But if I ask you to do you could do the way that I asked you to do originally in this way. So create department, create table, department, and then department has uh, department name, and department name is text. Chair. We do not have faculty here, right? Uh, chair has uh, text also. But what did I say here? Come back here. Name, rank, degree. Actual department, same as the major. Uh, major of the students. Oh, okay. Students as major. Name in faculty tables, same as the instructor in. Okay, okay. Now, now you need to do uh, uh, some of the alter. Student can major role in the department as well. Okay. So, so we simply create uh, this chair, and then we can say name of uh, the department. I would say that is a primary key. So primary key is name. And then I close this. Name uses key specific with a column name.
text column name used in key specification with the, our key length. Uh, with our key length. Let's see what we have. Descri description of uh, student. Let me see that. Student has uh, major simply text. So I want to make that text. The name used in the key specification without the key length because there is no key length. So what I want to do here, let's say this is a uh, uh, character four, math or CS or whatever, the character four, or you can do varchar. Let's do uh, only character four. So that is okay. So describe DPT has uh, name and chair. Uh, name is the key, primary key. And also we will have create table faculty. Faculty is name. Name is text. I want to put here, let me see the other class. So instructor, there is a Varta 25. Instructor is, this Varta 25 is the faculty name. So I want to make create table faculty name is Varchar 25, and then rank, say text, and then degree, text, primary key is name. What is that? Check the manual. Is, uh, create table faculty name. Bar chart, rank, text, degree, text. I think we can't use rank for uh, index. Mm -hmm. Does the manual that corresponds to the reverse sentence? Rank text. Doesn't matter. That is a. Uh, uh, Attribute name, degree, faculty name, voucher, rank degree, primary key name. Professor, I think the error is because of the rank. Yeah. Is there? Yeah, because when we do the rank itself, we need to put something else before the rank. So just change the name. Maybe S rank or. I think rank is already a function in um, MySQL, so it won't let you use it as a. But I think it's still. Is that right? Yeah. I mean, we, got, we all got the same <laughs> errors. <laughs> yeah, when you try the other way, this works? it works now? Yeah, yeah. This is attribute name. Why attribute name is prohibited? Attribute name. It's not, I'm not doing rank as any. any uh, Function call. Right. But there is another way, like you can specify the length of the text. But I've right? tried that, but it didn't work to me. You said it, if it is not text, it should work. No, right? No, Same way. Yeah, only the only the rank. Yeah, this is the somehow the restriction of uh, the MySQL. Yeah. <laughs> rank. How about that? Rank. <laughs> rank. Rank. Does it sound rank? No. How do you sound this? I know, yeah, but, but if you do it the other way, say rank. Did I do rank? 
yeah. Strange. So some other uh, DBMS don't do like this. But this, as I said, each DBMS, depending upon development cost, this is devel development cost. They don't want to put their development cost here. OK, so we have so far class, department, enroll, faculty, students. Go back to uh, the issue that, that we had here one by one. Uh, attribute name, uh, department is the name as a major, major of the students. Attribute name should be the, if I do here student, then student major should be changed. It should be uh, the way that we do DPT. DPT has a name. Department name is the same as the major uh, name here. So this is character four. So it, first of all, this should be the character four. And this should be the foreign key. So anyway, we need to alter. Alter, table, student, attribute. So we need to do modify. Major, that should be character four. And then foreign key. Um, should they have a comma or let's put a comma? Foreign key <laughs> of uh, major here should reference DPT name. Let's see. Oops. Foreign key references. <coughs> Major foreign key department. Modify. Major. Major character four. Foreign key, major references. I think foreign key needs to be added separately. This guy, we, we, do, we try to do all together, right? What we want to do is we change this, and also we want to add foreign key. So let's do, modify this first. Oh, modify. Oh, okay. Modify student. <clears throat> Not. 
no table stone we already did that table stones modify let's do here what is the issue here data too long for column major at row one capital four oh some of the data already there's too long that may be the reason right syntax is correct let's see student major maybe long <coughs> from student then cyber cyber that's five what is the thing oh character four that is the reason so let's change it to five Okay, and then we need to change the name of the major, uh, the DPT. We need to change the de department name also, identical. So five. Now we need to alter. Alter. <coughs> now we need to add. foreign key on the students major of the foreign key should reference department name cannot add or adopt a child row of foreign key constraints Oh, students, students major, student major is student major. Hmm? What's, what's that? Describe student. Student major is not at all. It's not foreign key. And name there is a primary key, and then we could do alt table student student we need to add let's see we need to add this is what I'm trying to do add a foreign key so alter table student to add a foreign key of the students, students has a major, right? So major references. So department has a name. Department has a name. Both are character five. It should work, but why it is not working? Cannot add or update to child row. Child row. Oh, because they are already. Mm -hmm. Oh, because they are already. Okay, that makes sense, right? So what we need to do? So a lot of things that we need to learn. Select a star from student. Okay. Then these guys need to be uh, I want to make uh, I want to put this in on another table, okay? So yeah, this is a good uh, exercise. So we need to create view temp student as select star from student. So we have that already over there. Show tables. Then we have uh, temp students. So now we need to do Delete all from student. It's not drop, delete. Delete all the rows from the students. 
write stencils and stuff from from to lit. For the Delete. <clears throat> the way that it, well, I, I would do in this way, delete uh, from student where major equal major like uh, C and then C star, probably not C star. Uh, we'll do like this, major equal cyber. What? The version of the right star from. Or because to lead. White lead is not working. Let's do a star from student C W I D equal one two three. This is not even Delete statements. Oh, we need to. Do, we don't need to do star. Yeah, we don't need to do star. We don't need to do. We simply say delete. Delete from students. Oops. What did they say? Delete from students table. Delete from table. Delete from table. Foreign key constraints. <laughs> this is a foreign key constraints. Because of the foreign key constraints. Uh, uh, no, delete is the language. Yeah, truncate is the, uh, the strings. You can truncate the strings. Uh, strings. Uh, right now, the, the problem here, uh, constraints, foreign key, students has a foreign key reference to the students, CWID. So this is not really the issue in this case, in theory, but I'm not sure why this guy, because it, this guy didn't reference anything. Students, any of these students does not have the foreign key things, right? Because this is a violate already. So we want to change this. Okay, so to avoid that, let's do this. Insert into department as, into department as, Department uh, Major Cyber and Chair, say, Peter. We put like this. Ooh. 
Let's go to check the mutual. Is it at or value? Values. Sorry. Great. So I want to put CS here also. CS. Okay, so we have the department. Now, can we add the foreign key? Students doesn't have foreign key yet, major. So let's put the foreign key. Alter table student add foreign key major references department name I'm not sure still Oh, when I, it worked. So department has, uh, student has now major mutual constraints of foreign key. So this, this is, this is something strange. Note, you should submit the correct ones. Correct. Do not. <laughs> if 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 you submit the error, then means there is a wrong. It's incorrect, right? Uh, okay. This way, it is it is it is fixed. No, I fixed some, but I show him. I have like ten users. The <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right. So the other one. So we had the uh, actual actual name in department is the same as major in, uh, of the students. Name in faculty table should be the same as instructor of the course table. This is the same issue that we that we dealt with uh, the, the department faculty faculty name and course instructor. So let's try to do that. So what should we do? We need to look at select classes. Class has uh, John Chan Usman. That's an instructor. Instructor has Uh, far chart 25 and then faculty faculty name of bar chart 25 and bar chart, that is the primary key now we simply add alt table class and we need to simply add the foreign key Foreign key of the uh, the uh, the instructor in the table class references and then faculty should be faculty name. This is this was the issue because they all already these guys are not in the faculty. 
So this is a uh, uh, retrospectively check <laughs> before I define it. <coughs> so what we need to do is, before we define it, we need to have these guys in the faculty table. John Chen Usman. So insert into faculty values and John rank, right? Professor and degree PhD. That is the same as the other guys. Chen, Professor that, and then Usman. assistant and PhD. Where is the issue? For the right syntax of near, or do we have a double? Oh, I need to do close parentheses. Okay. If I have this, then I can do alter. Ja -ja. So it worked. And finally, students can major in the same as the department. That's what we did already. Okay, so we did the alter. According to six alt, the definition of the table already defined. Already defined. That's that's what we did, right? Uh, we changed the students and we changed the class. Populate. Uh, yeah. So this is this is done. So we are ready now. Show tables all cleaned out, and now we need to go come back to do the work that we need to do today. DML, data, def, data manipulation language. So we want to learn a little bit, little bit of the languages, and and then we need to do some efficiency issues, a format of S SQL, and joining tables. Uh, languages, uh, of course, SQL. By the way, we're, we're going to learn today SQL, and then next week. What are we going to do next week? Next week, DDL. We already did that, DDL. Next week, what we have done today is very, very primitive, right? Uh, you may not get a uh, job offer by knowing this level of uh, uh, data, database skills. Watch this. What you need to do, what we are going to learn next week, we're going to handle all of this in Python. So you don't need to type. You simply run Python. And of course, you have to do this on Python coding, OK? In Python, you can include the SQL. It's called the SQL Embedded Python Programming. Then you can get a, a good uh, job offer, OK? So that'll start from next week. Python, Python and SQL. Yeah. So today, today anyway, that you have to learn. We are going not Python can handle from DDL to DML. So you, if you create. Python, then you can. You don't need to open up your uh, MySQL. Only 
Python can open up and access into your MySQL database and open your tables and do some work and come back. Okay, so very handy. So many steps, hundred steps that you could do manually done can be done automatically uh, in your Python. That's my question. Python is uh, easier than MySQL, not just database, right? All the host language you can do. Java can do. Uh, C language can do. Python as well. We may not go even further, but if you want to, toward the end of this semester, then we'll do some of the user interface in Python. So now we click, click, then it goes to database and bring the database result and populate it. There's a real system. If you want to do that, we could do that but it is up to you guys' performance, okay? I'm not going to push you guys to that end, but it is possible, okay? We'll see that. So next week, from next week, maybe a couple of weeks, we do Python, SQL embedded Python coding. And after that, uh, security, encryptions. Some of the columns uh, you do not want to show even if somebody is, uh, can access to your database, you give him the privileges, right? So select from where, done. So you can see. But without doing proper way, the guy can see only encrypted version of data. Salary, some of the, all the characters. It's not number, right? Mm -hmm. So your salary is not in number, but crazy characters. OK, so, so language, we could do SQL directly. That's what we are, we are doing today. And then using host languages, one of the host languages. It could be, in our case, Python, because Python is easy. And Jamel loves Python, so. We take Python. <laughs> Jamal may teach us. No, of course not. So if he learns it, he'll get a job. Of course, yeah, he'll get a job. Definitely. I guarantee you, 99%. And then environment, environment of uh, uh, database access. Command line, yeah. even though even if you do Python, it is a command line. You execute Python, then it goes. Or you can do you can open up your terminal and go into database. There is of course command line. As I said minutes ago, graphical user interface. You can also build a graphical user interface. A little bit more uh, coding skills needed. We could do that. Display the SQL result. You can display the result on the command line as we do here, right? That is the result that we could see here. Oops, this is not. This, this guy is command line. But it, you can do it on your GUI even further. You can do it on your smartphone, OK? You can display that on your smartphone. OK. But if you do your smartphone uh, display, actually, you have to learn so many others. But only smartphone developments can be learned from the course that I am going to teach in the spring semester. None of you took that. 555, that is <laughs> high advanced. Yeah. 
It's called the mobile technologies and sensor data services. So we'll do some of the sensors as well. OK. Theory over SQL. <coughs> In typical database course, we do a lot of theories. But in this class, we don't need to do a lot of theories. If I teach you theories, I may be OK. I don't need to worry about all the hands-ons and only theories. But basically, if you want to see the theory of uh, SQL, you have to keep in mind only one thing. There's a set-based set. You know the set, right? Why it is a set? If you think of a table, table can be regarded as a set of columns, right? Makes sense. At the same time, table can be a set of rows. Each of those can be theoretically, very nicely, mathematically uh, formulated. Uh, that's if you take very good uh, database textbooks, very good means uh, almost all the prest prestigious uh, universities uh, computer science course uh, adapts textbook, adapted textbooks, then lots of, so many chapters dealing with uh, that uh, database theories. And lots of uh, provings and things like that. So we are not interested in proof, right? Mm -hmm. We are interested in developments. Even if you prove something, no one's interested in you. No one give you a job. <laughs> okay. But you have to, for some reason, when you have job interviews, then if anyone's asking about a little bit of a theory, then try to think and answer uh, based upon set, set, OK? Therefore, there is a set operations possible. Union and set difference, that is possible. Given two tables. SQL statements, look at this. Select from where, that, what, what does it return? It returns a table, right? Even if you have a very, very complicated SQL expression, very, very complicated. Complicated means SQL contains nested SQL, which contains another nested uh, SQL expressions, and all together can maybe compared with other SQL statements, then each small SQL statements can be uh, treated as a table. If it is treated as a table, then that is nothing but a set. Given two SQL statements, you can union them. I want to think now mathematically what is union. How, if I have same columns and column names are the same, then we can, jo we can union them, right? Union means we can combine Ooh. rows. Rows in one table can be combined with, <coughs> combined with uh, rows in <coughs> another table. That is union. Set difference, same thing. You can subtract some of the rows, which may be available in another uh, table. And also, set membership operation is possible. Most complicated SQL statements is you have selected from where, somewhere there is in, and open parentheses, and another selected from where. So ideally, what it tries to express is one of the elements in the outer SQL, outer table, t 
to compare with inner tables. Inner table is a set. Outer table is a set. So ideally, you can think, hey, let me take one row in the outer table and compare that my inner tables. In this set, if it holds the row that I am currently comparing, if it is compared, then select. Next row from the outer table. Compare with the inner table if there is any available. If it is not, drop it. Next rows from the outer table. Compare with the, the inner tables. That is the thing here in this. Oops. This guy. X in something, some instances in another S, uh, selector from where close. Select from where close, this is nothing but a table, nothing but a set. What it tried to do is to see if one element here is available in this set. This set is fixed. This is already obtained. This is a set. Now we need to simply compare if this element is available here in this set. Next element is available in this set. That's what we want to do here. Existence of operation is also possible. E-X-I-S-T-S. Some version of MySQL does not support this, so we'll see. We have to see if the version that you have supports this keyword, E-X-I-S-T-S. What it does is here, they are very similar, set membership and existence. Set membership, this is also in where clause. Where x in this set. In this case, in this case, specific instance is described. In this case, only if there is anything exist. If it is non-null, if this SQL if this select from where close returns anything, then this is true, right? This is a where condition. If there is anything exist, then true. If this guy returns null, no result, no table, no set, in other words, empty set, null, which means not exist. If it is not, if it doesn't exist, then it means violate this condition. Therefore, uh, the outer SQL statements can be further evaluated. So <clears throat> we did this view creation. Index creation is something that we could do, but we, do, we didn't do. When you work, when you have a job, if your job title is database administrator or develop any developments, any database services, so that you have to think of uh, improvement, then if you have a very large, big table, then your database runs so slowly. Your SQL uh, retrieval time uh, takes longer and longer. So longer elapsed time may be expected. In that case, you have to reorganize the instances in a table. Okay. So you can make multiple different index. For example, given student table, sometimes your application program wants to access students by CWID, then you can index, you can, we can uh, resort your uh, table rows based upon CWID. Some other application wants to access student list 
uh, by major. Then you need to do, hey, that is the, all, all the instances in the cybersecurity instance needs to stay nearby. English students, they may be available some other places. So once, what they want to do is, hey, I want to watch uh, students, I want to uh, uh, extract uh, honor students from cyber security programs. Then if the students table is organized based upon majors, then once your computer locates cyber security students, one single students, then computer can find cyber security students somewhere there, right? They don't need to go hey, open up this disk and open up another disk because cyber security students dispersed all around. Then it takes a longer time. If we put them in, in one disk, then your computer can access only one single disk and then grab, collect, gather all the students' information from there. That is the impro uh, performance improvement. In order to do that, we need to create index. Given a table, you can create zero or more index tables. As I said, for students, we can create index table based upon CWID, index table based upon major, index table based upon uh, whatever, right? GPS, not GPS, right? GPA. <laughs> GPS maybe possible, right? Where they are from. <laughs> GPA, right. <laughs> so many different things can be uh, requested by your application. So to serve your application fast enough, then you need to get your table ready. Reorganize your table so that the table can be fit into uh, the query performance enhancement. That is uh, index creation. How to use it? If you create uh, the view, we already, view is nothing but a real table. So, so you can use it. View is the way that you use other tables. What about index? This is like a map. Yeah, Index, uh, <coughs> uh, yeah, I don't, I don't have that yet, but I'll, I'll let you know uh, later. Okay, we can go further. Now, this is a typical select from where close, right? Select star from employee. This is on other tables. You can do that. If you have more than one table, employee and office, then you need to join them. When you join two tables, then don't forget. You have to put the join conditions, right? You need to join employee and office based upon office code in this case. Similarly, our data, database, come back our database, we can create the view like this. Uh, this is, we already this. Why we have this? Okay, here. Practice on your MySQL database. Oops. Yeah, this is. Practice on your MySQL database. Student tables, name and major, we can get it. If you have a select major from students, then you will have so many select major from students. 
We have a CS, CS, cyber, 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 right? If you do not want that, you need to do distinct. Then you have only distinct values. Join operations. If you have three students, I mean three tables, students in enroll and class. If you have three classes to be joined, then you need to have at least two join conditions. CWID should be joined uh, two tables of stu student and enroll because student and enroll has the common attribute which is a CWID. They need to be matched and enrollment and class needs to be matched, uh, joined also. Then common attribute for enroll and class is a CRN number, course number. So course number from enroll and course number from class. And then if you think of their names and whatever theirs, then major equals cyber. So we can do that also. So select, let's say, we have, uh, I believe we have uh, how many base tables? One, two, three, four, five. Five base tables. So based upon five, not really only based upon base tables, but you can work on others, uh, the views as well. Tempest Studio is not really needed here. What I want to do here, basically, when I create, um, when I, uh, the insert new tables, I may be able to insert uh, the values from the result from other SQL expression. That is also possible. That is the reason I try to do that. For example, right now we have that, uh, but CWID is uh, is unique. So I want to. What I want to do. Let's try to do <clears throat> update. Uh, I want to do update. Update table name and set and where close. So what I want to do is update temp student set CWID equals CWID plus 100 in everything. Where close, I don't need to do where close. What I want to do is I want to uh, up upgrade the CWID, add 100 to each of this CWID so that I can, <gasps> it's not working. Why it's not working? Foreign key again. Why wow, it's already foreign key there? Oh, CWID with the students. <laughs> oh, this <coughs> temp temp has also uh, the foreign keys. Why? Why it has, uh, oh, it doesn't have foreign key. 
temp to do has not this is really strange why they are linked temp student there's no foreign keys still so I want to drop these constraints so how can we do alter table because of a quote constraint oh constraint hopefully see that's not base table so why <laughs> this is not base table so there's no this constraints. Why this guy has these constraints? <coughs> syntax is is right. This is this is the right syntax, but mercy that student temp students is not base table, therefore there is no constraints. But anyway, I don't need. I don't need to worry about this. What I want to do here, syntax, insert into student values, and then we can do select star from temp stud. Then it can go in there. But right now, I don't do this because if I do this, probably uh, they have already uh, student ID, so primary key violations. If I do this, syntax <coughs> values. Insert into students' values. I think it should, it should work. In this way, anyway. So, from other tables, we collect it. Then this is a set. This set can be uh, entered into table as we did set insertion right this is a set ins insertion well, this is a set insertion okay let's try to do that's a join and group by we can apply here group by for example student select
group by major. If you do this, <coughs> uh, if it's a group by, then there, as you group, then what, what do you want to show? You want to show some of the aggregate functions, right? You want to show how many? Count star, for example. That's, if you do this, see what happens. There is an uh, un uh, incompatibility. Therefore, as you group, then you need to do something, some aggregate function. Count is one of the aggregate functions. So for example, when you count the student table by major, then two and three. Right now, we do not know which one is two, which one is what, right? In that case, you need to do major, major and count to then two CS major and three cyber majors. If we want to show here as number of students, then nicely. CS major has two students and cyber has three students. <coughs> order by, that is also possible. Order by uh, there's no equal sign. Order by uh, attribute name and ascending or descending. You can specify that. So select a star from student. Then right now, name is not in order, right? So I want to select a star from student order by name. By default, that is ascending. So we will have Adam, Bob, Chris, James, Peter. But if you want to make it descend, descending, then you will get Peter, James, Chris, <coughs> Bob, and Adam. That's order by. Any questions so far? Okay, look at the tables, and anyone can describe meaningful query, I mean questions. If you have meaningful questions, then we can describe your question in SQL statement. 
class department to enroll faculty students. All the tables names are in ascending order. <laughs> that's, that's what we could do. But I wanted to think of some of the join uh, across, uh, across um, the multiple tables, if you can find some meaningful question. Who are in? So we want to display the students. Who are in? Who are in? What, what, whatever courses. Whatever courses yeah. <laughs> then, then we can think of student and enroll uh, and class. Mm -hmm. uh, if we want to display class title, not only CRN number, but class, class title, then we need to include three tables, right? Mm -hmm. So let's try to do select star from, let's do star all, first of all, from student S, enroll E, class C. If we have three classes to be joined, then we need to do at least two uh, join conditions. So student CWID equals enroll CWID and uh, enroll CRN equals C dot C R N. Let's do this before we put any uh, where clause. Then we have <coughs> instructors title. Yeah, very nice of those. But if you want to show only name here. And major, no title, and instructor. Then we have that, right? Only John. We need to put more, which is not good. Uh, I want to put here. Five twenty five five twenty five. Okay, so we need to put more in roll. <coughs> so insert into in roll values and then CWID. So one, two, three takes one 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 five twenty five so five hundred and one two four 
one two four takes 500 again and one two four takes 530 and one to five two 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 three takes five thirty let's say like this so more students then if we put this nice <coughs> so we can do some work here we can do order by title then dbsec forensic intro python and if you want to see uh, how many students <coughs> then how many students by title right then group by by title and then how many students we need to put here count name as enrollment order by group by maybe comma group by title let's put their class the title see that title group by Class. What is this? Instruct. See that instructor. It's not functionally dependent on the column of a group by. Oh, instructor is not dependent on the column group by. I see. Therefore. What does that mean? Uh, group by title.
although by that is okay but instructor if we put instructor then okay so db is Why instructor is not? Let's put instructor here. It's not functionally dependent on the column called by instructor is not functionally dependent on <coughs> class title and class instructor are not Instructor is a foreign key. Yeah, instructor is a foreign key, therefore that is dependent on faculty. So CRN should work, right? CRN is CRN is not uh, because of <coughs> same thing. instructor only that is not strange so instructor and title title can be to group by but not the instructor not the CRN CRN is a primary key instructor is a foreign key there is no such a theories. Okay. So we do as we did. Yeah, this. Oops. Title. Yeah. This should work in this way. Other interesting things so that I can put here select star from faculty select star from DPT so we have those select star from department faculty 
enroll class and student one two three four five we have five tables any interesting any additional interesting questions How many students are in the department where chair is Peter? How many students are registered in the department whose chair is Peter? So, so we need to have uh, students Department, department has a chair, department has a chair, and department has a name. This name should be the name of this, right? Yeah. So only, only department and students. So select, start from DPTD and student S, where we need to have uh, uh, join conditions. So D dot department name should be the same as student major. So that is the thing, right? Right now. So how many? So we need to do here uh, where close, where department chair is Peter. Department chair is oh where we have two wares. I need to have here and only the Peter department. And we need to do count, right? Uh, How many? So So actually what we need to do here is chair and um, student name like that. And if we can do group by chair and then count. So we do, if we do count without having group by, the count count is, is an aggregate function, right? Without aggregate function, we don't, uh, without do any like groupings, aggregate function doesn't make sense. So if we do, oh, this works without <laughs> aggregate fun, without doing that. So this is this is this is okay. So we do only count without group by. That is, we somehow we do we do this right. It's not group by, but do this. If we want to do group by without that specific uh, Peter, then we can do group by chair. <clears throat> what else can we do? So we did uh, this, these two tables. Anything that we can do? Faculty. Faculty and... Uh, let's say who... Who is doing uh, something? Who is uh, 
doing admin, administrative jobs. Which faculty is doing administrative job? Which faculty doesn't do? Okay. Select star from faculty and faculty F D P T D where um, faculties faculty name e equals department to chair name. Faculty name Oh, is that right? Yeah, that is right. So we need to put more insert into faculty values, and I want to put them in the faculties. So faculty name Dave. and rank professor masters faculty name peter associate and phd Okay, so with that, if I want to do this, then I have here David and Peter and doing this, right? Chair, because they are chair and, they, and, and also faculty. Can I list uh, not only these two guys, but I want to see who is involved in that administrator job and who are not. Then we need to display all of this faculties, right? So select from faculty. We have uh, five faculties. Not only these two, I want to uh, list others as well. How can we do that? We need to do that. Uh, left to join. Join faculty so we can use uh, union common to join we could do that yeah that is that is a good idea but we do in this way left to join uh let's see we have do we have a left to join Uh, not in here, but let's do here. Left to join. Then, then we have a left to join. Left to join table. Uh, from table one, left to join table two on something. So what we need to do syntax is this. We need to do. Faculty left to join. <coughs> Faculty left to join. So this is a left to table, left to join, right table, on. They are left to join based upon. Based upon what? Yeah, column name, but uh, faculty has a name and based upon department has uh,
Yeah. So. Faculty dot name. This is a little bit tricky. Yeah, we do like that. <coughs> and then chair, no, dpt dot chair. Based upon that, we can do left to join. Then we will have more tables. Remember that here, Dave and Peter only. But when you do left to join, Dave, Dave and not only Dave and Peter, not only Dave and Peter, those two has uh, the attribute about department, but the rest, for example, Chen has a null value for the department, John has a null value for the department, and Uzman has null value for the departments. That is the left to join. You can see this more clearly if we say here name. Uh, faculty name dot DPT DPT chair. DPT name. More clearly, uh, <coughs> those are all name. So we can see here this name as faculty. as admin. This faculty has admin null. This faculty has admin CS. This faculty has a Peter has admin job in cyber. Things like that. Okay. And if you do this Huh? Can I see what? Mm -hmm. That's what we want to see, the, the left to join. Then we simply do, without left to join, we do simply join operation. We do simply join operation. Where is the faculty? And TPT, where? Is that what you're saying? This is typical join operation. Uh, where is it? Uh, yeah, from from faculty and and DPT followed by uh, join condition. Then then we will receive this. This is an extra. Typical SQL statements receives something matched. If we want to do a little more additionally unmatched items, then we need to do left join here. In the form close, we have a left table, left join, and then right table. In this case, instead of where close, we need to put on. Okay, this is a language. If we do regular join, then we need to have where close. <coughs> the beauty of this, in this case, 
for example, some cases, I want to see the list of faculty who doesn't do anything administ administrative jobs. This table shows list of the faculty who does administrative jobs. There is, there is no such uh, rows available who doesn't do. In order to solve that, we need to first to receive this and then this, based upon this, we need to put where dpt dot chair is null. Only this. This is not working or this is, this is working. So who, who is the faculty? List of faculty who don't do the business uh, administrative jobs. Then this only. So what we need to do here We do like this. Then only Chen John Uzman doesn't do other mystery jobs. This fact not shown here, right? If you see any of this, this fact is not this listed. Therefore, we first to do outer join. I mean the left join, and then we try to see this. This is a little bit tricky. Other other interesting Can we uh, see one example where we will be using the select common twice in one statement? Like you will say Oh, you mean, oh, the, the uh, okay, okay, so give me an example. Yeah, there's a lot of examples, but there's one that I think you should know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so maybe you should explain that again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Let's do this. Um, list of faculty who teaches who. Okay, so that we can do, we can describe it another ways by join operation. But according to your question, we can do select uh, faculty name from faculty where uh, faculty. name and faculty F and F dot name and then I want to put student dot name student name where F dot name is in select Select from class mm -hmm. 
select from class. Class has instructor, so select instructor from class C and enroll E and student S where class CRN equals enroll the CRN and enroll the CWID equals student to that CWID. So in, in this second uh, nested SQL statements, I want to instruct uh, student instruct. I want to see the, the instructors who teaches the students, right? And then I want to uh, Basically, what it does is that we, we have auto faculty table. We have a faculty table. Uh, let's see. I want to make uh, here insert slide. OK. We have here a faculty table. Faculty. T this is a faculty table. And the faculty table has multiple rows. So let's do, this is a faculty table. So we have rows here. So we have a multiple rows. This is a faculty tables. That's what we have here. This is faculty table where each of these faculty, this is F dot name, in uh, another table here. This table, let's say, student. This is student table, student table. Let's say student table. Similarly, we have uh, enroll table. Similarly, we have faculty table. And we join them from there. Join them. We join them and another table. This is join operation. Join from three tables, then this guy returns this select instructor from this. Let's see this. I want to do this. This well, 
this is something. What this guy says? Well close syntax error. C dot CRN E dot uh, ERN and E dot CWID student CWID. Okay, so that is the instructor. We we this is this instructor table is nothing but this, and I want to see if uh, anyone in this faculty. That's what we have. Uh, Here, what I want to do, I want to do this and I want to put that here. This is what this guy, okay? And then similarly, select here for, okay, right now we do not have that here. This is a faculty name. So anyone this guy teaches. Okay, so so here where close f dot name if it is in this this name. Okay. So I want to put that here. Like this. <coughs> what happens? <coughs> select instruct. Select an instructor from. Oh, in. So we need to put in. That F name should be in. That. Then Chen, Chen John Usman, see her faculty has, let's put that, okay. Faculty table, faculty, this is the faculty table. This is the class who teaches. John Chen Usman, John Chen Usman teaches, but among this faculty table, David and Peter does not teach, right? Apparently, as you can see here. Uh, and if you want to show who teaches what, who teaches whom, mm, student is here. So student cannot be shown here. Yeah. Student cannot be shown. S is uh, S. Let's try to see it works. Student has a name here, but student is inside of this. Inside of this. This is the scope of students. This is outside, so may not work. But anyway, like this, we can use uh, SQL statements. Element in in one table.
can be compared with uh, uh, another set. Okay, MD? Yeah. This is this is what. Uh, yeah. But if I hit enter, then I I might have uh, uh, error. Yeah, because of this the scope. This is not in that scope. Because S comes from here. This is an, an example that we we do. Above here, there is a there is outside the SQL statements. Here inside the SQL statements, but we want to compare the instruct the this inner SQL statements returns only list of instructor. That's what we had here list of instruct list of instructor. Only this, so that we can compare these names with that. Okay, this is a little bit awkward way that we expressed it. We could do much easier way by, by joining operations, but this is an, an example that we can do. Uh, outer SQL statement, outer selector from where, and inner, inner selector from where, we compare among them. Any other, uh, let's see. And the wildcard is is also possible. If you want to, want to do uh, percent sign is wildcard, underscore is one single card. So, for example, um, like faculties select from faculty. We have that. But if you want to see where degree like P, I do not know what it is P. Stand, the degree name beginning with P, then I have that. Okay? Anything Rank, rank like A, then we have uh, uh, associate and assistant. That is a wild card. I think this is pretty much that th that we could do. If we have very uh, interesting, but sophist sophisticated and complicated expression, we could think of that. But right now, but uh, left join, uh, auto join. Left join is one of the outer joins. Outer join has left join or right join. If you want to include all the, the, the elements in the right table, then that is a right join. If you want to include all the instances from the left table, then you need to do left join. With that, you can do that meaningful ones. Remember that uh, this is something that I want to do. Yeah, this. So that we know they are not teaching, right? Um, I want to see if, if this can be done, for example, select faculty name from faculty where name not exist select 
distinct instructor from class if exist supports exist Let's try to see if this works. That works. Then let's do this. Not exist. Well, not exist. faculty name if it is not exist there but faculty name has faculty faculty name Mr. John Chen those things right faculty name from faculty is this if any one of this not exist here but this doesn't support that <coughs> If it exists, exist, but not exist. Then that is in. Name in, but name not in. Name not in, then, then it is. Instead of a not exist, we can do name not in these selections. Then David and Peter is not in that selection. So, summary. This guy, let me check this. This guy, Right, this is the same as that one. All right. This is the last slide that I can share with you. As you can see here, remember that we, oops, we said, um, this is a left to join. Left to join. Uh, faculty, left to join faculty and department. Any any faculty who doesn't do administrative jobs, then they, that we use a left to join, and where department name is null. Therefore, we could have this. These things can be done in. Uh, this element and uh, nested join. If a faculty, faculty name is not in the result of nested SQL statements, which is, I want to retrieve uh, the department chair's name. Distinct, if this name not available in the department chair's name, then, which means they are not doing administrative jobs. Same thing. So this returns, this guy is a, is a not element not in the nested SQL. This guy is left to join. So they are together. 
returns the same result. All right. Any question? This is this is done for SQL data manipulation language. Data manipulation language. We I think we learned most of those, although we don't do much exercises. Exercises will be given to you. Uh, another homework assignments, but you don't like. <laughs> but anyway, I. I want to create yours first, and then if I have time, then I will <laughs> ask you to do. So next week, we'll do Python, SQL embedded Python codings. Those who do not know Python, please learn Python by one week. <laughs> learn Python by one week. That's, that's a good <laughs> suggestion. No. no, more than this. You this should this should should be embedded in SQL. Oh, this should be in. <laughs> Only what Python can do is to your uh, operations, keystrokes can be done in Python. SQL itself remains the same. We use this SQL, exactly the same SQL. Inside the Python. Inside the Python, exactly. Okay, have a good one. I will see you next week. <laughs>